After more than one year, after the old version became unplayable, we finally received a new version of Dead by Daylight Mobile. But how does it feel playing this new version of this game? In this video, we will take a look at what's new in this game and if it is playable or not. But first, let's begin with the loading screen. The loading screen is different from the old version, but from here you can migrate your old account from the previous version to this new one, without losing the progress. So, to migrate your account, you just have to log in with the account that you used in the previous version. Then click on Account Migration. Then click Agree. And this is how I restored my old account to this new version. Now let's take a look at the home screen. The home screen looks similar to the old version, with the overall graphics improved, and more future buttons. This is how the home screen looks before, compared with how it looks now. There is clearly an improvement. Now there is more way for you to earn in-game currency than before, so you should not worry about them anymore. What I like the most about this version is that you can see players ranking on the leaderboard, as survivors or as killers. And now we can do more to be the best survivor, or the best killer, and to be on top of the leaderboard. A worldwide channel where you can talk with other players is now available. This is really useful because, in the previous version, you couldn't talk with others, except your friends. Make sure to check your in-game settings, because there are new features now, and you may want to change them before playing the game. For this specific review, I put everything on high to see how the game feels. Another cool feature is that now you can see players before the game, and can talk with them, and you can see what they took as items. Now let's see what the actual game looks like in this version. Like in the home screen, the graphics seems to be improved, and we have new features, and now we can talk with the rest of the survivors in the game, and we can tell them if we are okay or if we need help, for example. But not everything is perfect. Did you see that lag that I had before? Let's take a look again. Exactly, that stop for a few fractions of the second happened to me in all my games. I don't think that this is because of my phone or because of my internet, because I have a high-end phone with a super internet connection. I am wondering if it's just me, or if you have the same problem with the lag. Please leave a comment if you have the same problem. There is another thing that I found in this version. There are a lot of bots killers. If you saw a killer carrying a survivor without being able to hook him, or without being able to hit you, that's probably because you are facing a bot, like in this video. There is no chance that a player can't be able to successfully hook a survivor. And the survivor always manages to escape from being carried to the hook. Let's don't take this as a problem because a lot of mobile games have bots because not all the time the server is full of players. Let's forget about things that we may not like about this new version and let's focus on this amazing chase. NANI? Nope. Okay. What are you doing, step bro?
bruh. He just gave up. Anyway, I just hope that they can make this game playable, because we have very few mobile games on the store that are actually not pay to win. I am very curious what's your opinion about this new version. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let's talk about that. If you like our videos, make sure to subscribe because we will post more content about Dead by Daylight Mobile. Until then, enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
Ah! <laughs> 